Now closer than a 300 times telephoto lens. incredible. Um, the surface has all these objects. There's nothing flat anywhere on the moon whatsoever, no matter where we look. Look in the bottom here. Look at the detail on the left. You could even see the construction layers where they have actually built through the surface all these structures. And amongst that, well, we catch things falling on the surface of the moon. This object September 9th, 2019 was not small. And look at it here. Just a fabulous way to zoom in. Has NASA ever showed pixelation? Well, of course, when they show the asteroids far out, they're always pixelated, but that's okay because they have to be able to, to see them, right? Copernicus Crater, I've showed you this area before, um, twice actually. I'm infatuated with it. I was working on it this evening, looking at exactly what we are seeing right there in the circle and the S shape to the left. They are constructed objects on the surface. Different levels, looks like even a mining pit or something at times. Um, I'm, listen, I'm showing you straight up what we're looking at. There's no uh, two ways about it. 90 degree angles there, one, two, three layers going up, sort of like pyramidal if you want. Uh, Copernicus Crater always right there. This is the left side of Copernicus Crater.
more evidence of a light system or lights flashing on the surface due to activity on the surface as you see when a light flares up on the surface it's not just a light that flares up look at the activity and look what happens around the light watch carefully the two lights in the extremity boom the center is bright the right light disappears and appears in the center circle yep Looking off over the S there, you're going to see appear, there you go, a light. And this is in, on the dark side, the Terminator line on Earth's side that we can see. And those are the lights that appear on the surface, which, by the way, does not look like an explosion. It's a flash that lights up like a light and then completely goes out. It's not like an explosion or a meteor strike. Remember when I told you all about the UFOs? the anomaly or phenomena that happen when we see them that black hole or black area beside the light which meaning that black dot could be the craft and that light could be uh, what's propelling it just an idea here's with the inversion if you want to do the comparison you can see the black dot further out there's another one right there and again there's that vivid dark area like a pipe tunnel or path going straight to a square object different layers let's take a look at Apollo 11 landing from last year Mare Crisium on the top and we're gonna go downwards into Mare Imbrium and just look at the color instead of trying to prove that the moon is colorful I think after seeing this and all of my research it's more they're gonna have to prove that it's gray <laughs> because it definitely is not beautiful colors on the surface of the moon NASA themselves talked about many years ago, actually, before I was born. Yeah, Mare Serenitatis, uh, one of the most colorful regions of the moon. Look out for that crater there. Look at this triangular crater. Just beside Copernicus, the bigger white crater on top there. That's where the triangular crater is. We can see unique and different objects on the surface, anomalies that look constructed, colors, green craters, objects going to and from these, paths, roads, lines, tunnels. I don't know if I should take the time to show you the UFO. I guess you guys didn't see it go up off the, the, the edge there. Let's get in. So that's the object either going by the moon or lifting off the moon and will even ignite once it goes off the edge like I've shown before. I've shown some arriving and now I'm showing one leaving. So this is an area in 
the Apennine Mountains is just intriguing to me. I call it a, some type of central. Hard to see right in the center. I'm going to try to get your eyes adjusted to it, even though it is an area that's hard to see. Don't forget, that's the whole point, right? Camouflage. But let's take a look at this in great detail. This is an image. We're just going to pan across the image very simply, not to disturb the minds of our trolls. Look at here the objects and lines that are all overlapping. It is incredible, the connections. They are all aligned all along the page as they go over top of the mountain area here in the Apennine Mountains. An amazing overall uh, revealing surface showing that there is some type of camouflage on the surface. We see smokes and hazes, we see lights, we see um, uh, refracting light causing us not to be able to see the surface. Bye.